Okay, welcome to Linux Audio, Linux Music. This is the second of three short uh, videos on synthesis, sound fonts, and Swami. If you haven't seen the first one, I urge you to uh, go back. It'll give you the background for the rest of this. Uh, the next one will just be clean up and cautions. Uh, so this is where we're going to build a sound font. So stick with me and let's have some fun. Okay, here we go. We have Swami up. We have nothing loaded. Uh, we're going to make a new sound font. Uh, new one. And if you remember uh, last week, and if you didn't see last week, you should look at it. Uh, samples go to make instruments. Instruments go to make melodic presets. So the first thing we're going to do is load some samples. And it's important that this is an A6 on, on my Dobro. That's what the sample is. Um, it's important that we identify down here what note that is to the system. And you'll, you'll see why in a minute. So let's come up and we'll make that an A6. Make the right. This was stereo samples. And five. Oops. And finally four. All right. Four, four, five, five, six, six. Okay. Uh, notice that we can actually see the samples. Uh, we'll get into that a little bit more later, but right now we're going to make a new instrument, and we'll call it Dobro, and we will take a sample, and we will load Dobro with samples. Uh, notice this is a very simple example. I mean, theoretically, I could have hundreds of samples here. They wouldn't all be. Uh, for a dobro, but let's look at a dobro. Here's my A4, A5, A6, and what I want to show you is this. This right here is the root note that we just identified, and if I pick this sample and say, come up and play this, well, first let's... And come up here... Notice it sounds less musical. If I come here to play this sample, if I come down here, and that's why we have layers, because we can layer this and say, this sample's only good in this range. And this sample is only good in this range. Oops. And this sample is only good from here up. Down here I get nothing. Uh, theoretically, if I was making a real a sound font, we would uh, have this layered all the way through. Uh, the other thing is, notice that this is on notes. Uh, typically, there are two things that are layered, or, or can be. One is these notes, like you've just seen, and you've just seen why. I'm going to pull that down a little bit. The other is velocity. So if you were playing a MIDI keyboard, uh, how hard you strike it, you can have completely different samples that come in and, and take place. So if you're, you know, the church organ lady, you can have uh, one set of samples. And if you're Jerry Lee Lewis, you can have a completely different set of samples based on the velocity of uh, striking the actual keys. So those are the two things that are usually layered that way. Uh, 
see we have the same layers, uh, are the notes so they don't get too far out of their frequency range and the velocity in case we want to do something. Now, we'll have a percussion or a melodic preset. We're going to have a new one. And we'll call this uh, just Dobro preset. And it's Bang Zero uh, program or Patch Zero. And I will put the Dobro on it. So now, if I'm playing. So a melodic preset of Dobro. Dobro is made up of samples, and we talked about the samples. Uh, one thing we can do uh, here a little, uh, this is a little ginchy, but we'll try it. We'll pick up some other, yeah, let's go here. Another set of uh, sound fonts. And we'll come down here and maybe we'll let's pick an oboe. And I can right click, copy, come up here to my melodic presets, paste. And you'll notice that it picked up the Dobro instruments. And if I come down here in instruments, I have a Dobro instrument. And it picked up the oboe samples. And if I come down in samples, it picked those up. So now I, uh, uh, that, that, that's really slick to me because you can, you can uh, just copy from another one, uh, steal, plagiarize, whatever you call it. But let's, the well, one thing I wanted to show you was this. I can make a new preset and I'm going to call it a, a Dobro organ. Or dobro oboe and remember I said that one or more samples can go to an instrument one or more instruments go to a preset and so we can actually put a dobro and an oboe both into one preset <laughs> And you, you remember the dobro we didn't fill in samples down here, so you'll hear it in the ranges that we made. But that's that's uh, uh, something you can do. Now I want to show you one more thing. Notice as long as I hold the key down, it will uh, keep playing. And if I come down here to my samples for oboe, for example, and look at my sample editor, this is the part that it will repeat, uh, this, this green thing. So when I push this, well, and you can hear because the samples don't line up just exactly perfect, you get a little wah-wah. Uh, one thing you can do with a sample editor is... <laughs> Come in here, and you can say, find me a loop. Now, I'm not going to do it because it takes a long time because it goes through every one of these samples, 48,000 samples uh, per second. But you can say, find me, click find me loops, and it will come up here and suggest to you loops uh, that you can put on your preset or on your sample so that uh, when this thing, when you hold it down, it it's more smooth, it's more steady. Uh, and if you like the Wawa, you can have that too. So that's all we're going to do this week. Because uh, I do want to keep these things short. But again, get some samples. Pull them into, well, label them appropriately, remember. Pull them into instruments. Pull instruments into melodic presets. And then... Uh, if if I save this, uh, and I'll do that here in just a second to show you, uh, I'll be able to hook this to Q-Synth or any of the... Oh, I want it to...
Yeah, any of the many uh, synths or keyboards that use uh, sound fonts, uh, this one will work just as just as well as any. Now, uh, we didn't put in 127 presets, and and we didn't even fill our range when we were doing our own work with samples, but I assume you can take it from there. So let's say, uh, save all, and I have no need to save the one I stole from, but I'm going to save this one, uh, and I'm going to... I happen to have a folder called Swami. And I will save it. Notice that it's notice it's going to call it default SF2. SF2 is the file extension for sound fonts. Uh, so you want to make sure that you get that in there. And now it has done that. Nope. Didn't I get that path in there? Okay, so there you go. We're done. That was it. I hope this, I know we went through it real fast. As always, you can leave questions. Uh, we'll do our best to answer. Uh, next time we'll go in a little more detail. Next time we do sound fonts and Swami, we'll go into a little bit more detail on how you can uh, take the instruments. And there's just a ton, ton of settings you can have here for them. You can uh, set up the envelopes. There they are, the envelopes. Uh, various controls. You can hook different modulators to them. Same with the presets. Uh, different controls. Uh, set the pitch. Uh, set for vibrato. Uh, again, uh, with the envelopes. And hook different modulators to it. Uh, and set them up so that they work with MIDI. That's what all these are. CC1 is uh, your modulation control channel for MIDI. And, and basically, this thing is, is very, very full, very easy to use. Uh, like, like all the things, if you get stuck and you don't know what to do, right-click. Uh, that's, where, that's where most of the options hang. So that's it. We'll see you, we'll see you next time. Okay, well, that ends this week. Uh, like always, uh, here's the versions we're using. If what you're seeing uh, isn't what's shown in the video, uh, check that first. Um, here's, here's also the, the websites of the things we've looked at, and I, I urge you to check them out. Uh, Google, uh, Wikipedia, uh, get involved. This is really cool stuff. The community is, is very gracious, very friendly, ask questions. Uh, I know we covered this really, really fast, and there's a lot of stuff involved. I'll uh, leave questions on the YouTube channel or on the Google Plus page or send me an email, whatever. If anything's not clear, uh, we'll try to get you straightened out. And otherwise, uh, I hope that you have a lot of fun, and we'll, we'll see you next time.